All right, it's tortilla time. I'm gonna show you how to make um, homemade tortillas. You're gonna need a very large bowl. This is actually a Tupperware bowl and it's huge and great for making um, tortillas. You're gonna need, um, the recipe is super easy. Um, it's three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. So three, two, one. We'll start by adding three cups of flour. One, two, three. So it's kind of loosely measured. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I've got my baking powder. So two teaspoons of baking powder. One, two. Oops, my hair shouldn't be in the way. And a teaspoon of salt. So there are my dry ingredients. I'm gonna give it a quick mix, just to kind of distribute the salt and the baking powder. All right, um, you need some either, you can use Crisco or um, lard. So I'm gonna use lard. And I've already pre-measured, it's one third of a cup. I'm gonna drop that in my bowl. And today, which I haven't did this before, but I don't see how it can be bad. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter, just for a little bit extra. It's salted butter, extra flavor. Okay, um, then you need some really hot water. It doesn't have to be boiling, but I did use my water kettle, my uh, kettle to warm up some water. And I'm gonna start with one cup, but I'm not gonna pour it all in. I'm gonna pour in probably a half a cup I'm going to gently begin to stir. I've been mixing and you can kind of see it's kind of almost crumbly and you can tell that if I began to um, start working it with my hands that it would start coming together um, to form a dough. So I poured in almost a whole cup of water. There's probably about an eighth of a cup left. So at this point, I'm gonna begin working it with my hands. You could have did the whole process with your hands, but I like to start with a spoon. You're gonna to wanna to work that lard through. Yeah, you can tell it's coming together. All right, I have been working it through and it's turned into a dough. However, without that extra eighth cup of water, it still feels kind of dry and I don't want them to crack when they're cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that leftover eighth of a cup of water. I'll just work that through. All right, here's my dough. Right now it's still pretty sticky because I added that water real late. Um, so you can probably go ahead and start with right under one cup of water. So at this point, I'm going to flour my counter. Well, I'm using my counter. You can use cutting board or whatever you're gonna be using. And I'm just gonna begin to knead it for probably three to four minutes. All right, I've kneaded my dough for at least probably four minutes. Um, it's no longer sticky. When you press in it, it slowly begins to pop back up. I'm gonna put it in my bowl and my bowl has a lid. So I'm just gonna set the lid on and I'm gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. Um, other people use um, towels or a damp towel. I'm just gonna let it sit here with the lid on. Right, while you're letting your dough rest. Now it's a good time to go ahead and prepare your griddle. You can use an electric griddle. You can use um, a griddle on the stove. Today I'm going to actually use a large skillet. It's 12 inches. It's really big because I actually want to make some uh, chimichangas and I'm going to need big tortillas.
All right, it's been at least 10 minutes, and let's look at our dough. So here it is. It's very nice and soft. Um, you can actually let it rest longer if you want. You can go up to 30 minutes. All right, so I've got it ready. And the next step is going to be um, to begin to roll them, to shape them and then roll them out. So you're gonna flour your surface. Um, you're gonna pinch off, I don't know what that is, maybe a half cup. <laughs> maybe a half cup is too much, I'm not sure. So the more dough that you pinch off, the um, larger your tortilla is gonna be. So you just kind of work it kind of like in a little, I don't know, like a little pancake, I guess. Um, I like to dip them in flour just to kind of keep them from sticking. And then you put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin. And that's it, you just start rolling them out. They're not gonna come out perfect if you've never did it before. Mine don't come out perfect. So you roll and turn. So this one would be ready to go into the griddle. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. All right, so here's my tortilla. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my, I told you I'm gonna use a skillet, but I'm starting with a very small tortilla. I actually had the fire on low. So you can turn it up, you just don't want to do it too high. You don't want to burn it. And your tortilla should begin to bubble. Once you give it a, a little while, you can flip it over and it'll be nice and golden. And you just cook it a few more seconds. You can kind of pick it up and look at it to make sure it's toasting well. <laughs> 